Hi everyone, this is Miles Mortgage Salda, or you may call me Sir Miles, and I would like you to welcome to my business finance class. So this recorded video discussion will be the continuation of our uh, lesson last, uh, last week, which is the introduction to financial management. So let's proceed to the first topic, which is the investment may, be, may either be a short term or long term. So in short term investments, uh, decisions are needed when the company is an excess cash position. And also to plan for this, uh, the financial manager should be able to make use of financial planning tools such as budgeting and forecasting. So kapag gagawa po tayo ng short term investment for our company or for our business, make sure that you need to use a planning tools na kung saan uh, you will need to use the budgeting and forecast, uh, forecasting. So you need to manage uh, your money every time that you will have um, a short-term investment. Aside from that, the company should choose which type of investment it should invest and in that would provide a most optimal risk and return trade off. So the short-term investment po, we need to take sure that the risk that we're going to take is a minimal risk, okay? Or a optimist, uh, optimal risk. So ibig sabihin, hindi po ganun kalaki yung risk na uh, ititake natin, okay? Kaya need natin um, gumamit ng budgeting and forecasting na planning tools. While in long-term investment naman, it should be supported by capital budgeting analysis, which is among the responsibilities of a finance manager. So one of the, uh, the work or responsible of finance manager is to make a budgeting analysis of a company. Okay, so what happens uh, to the company, what happens uh, to the budget that the company uh, made? Okay, so capital budgeting analysis is a tool to assess uh, whether the investment will be profitable in the long run or will be further discussed in lesson five, which is the basic long term financial concept. So, in capital budgeting analysis, po, uh, it is a tool wherein, um, wherein the businesses or the company uh, make an analysis if the investment will be a profitable once they have a long-term investment. So this is a crucial function of a management, especially if this investment will be financed by debt. Okay, so dito, kung ito bang investment na ilalagay natin sa long-term investment will be a finance sa mga utang na meron ang isang company. So the lender should have the confidence that the investment that management will push through with the profitable or else they will not lend the company any money. So every time that you, uh, you, uh, you make uh, uh, liability to the other companies, uh, make sure that you have the confidence na kaya mong bayaran yung utang mo. Okay? Kasi if you don't have uh, enough confidence, of course, the company will not lend you any money from them, okay? So we proceed to the operating decision. So deal with the daily operation of the company. The role of VP for finance is determining how the finance working capital accounts, such as account receivable and inventory. So every time po na magkakaroon ng, uh, ng operation ng company, yung VP for finance, yung isang responsibility niya is to make an account in account receivable and, uh, and inventories, okay? So the company has a, cho a choice on whether to finance working capital needs by a long-term or a short-term source. So it's up to them or it's up to the company if what kind of finance working capital they need to do, okay? Pwedeng um, pang long-term source or pang short-term source. So... When we say short-term sources, these are um, uh, these are those that will be payable in at most twelve months. Okay, so eto yung kinuha nating uh, utang na dapat nating bayaran within a twelve months only. Okay, that is short-term source. So these include short-term uh, short-term loans with a bank and suppliers 
credit. So for a short-term bank loan, the interest rate is generally lower as compared to that long-term uh, loan. So the short-term so source cash from from the bank and secure credit are low. Uh, have a lower interest rate compared to the long-term uh, long-term uh, sources. Okay, so uh, it is good to the small companies. Uh, uh, na kumuha ng short-term sources from the banks and supplier credit kasi nga mas mababa yung interest, interest rate nila uh, compared to the uh, long-term uh, sources. So the supplier's credit are amount owned, owned by suppliers for the inventories. They are delivered and service they provided. So while the credits, supplier credit is generally free of interest charges, the obligation with them have to pay it on time to maintain a good supplier relationship, such relationship should be nurtured to ensure timely delivery of inventory. inventory. So dito class, the short-term sources can be, um, can be the bank or the supplier credit. So yung bank po, ang hinihinam natin dito is money. While yung supplier credit naman, they, uh, they give us a supply or inventory from them. Okay, so dito, we need to make sure that we have a good relationship with them so that uh, th those relationships will nurture to ensure a timely delivery of inventories. So the short-term uh, sources oppose a trade off between profitable and liquidity risk. So because these sources matures in a short period, there is a possibility that the company may not be able to obtain a cash to their obligation or the liquidity risk. So when we say naman long-term sources class, uh, it mature in longer period. So since this will be paid much later, the lenders expect more risk and place a higher risk or higher interest rate, which makes the cost of long-term sources higher than a short-term sources. So class, if the company that you have is kinuha yung long-term long sources, okay, umutang ka, for a long term uh, long term use to the bank or to the other entity okay ito class is mas madaming uh, risk to okay where in uh, mas malaki din yung interest interest rate sa long term sources so mas malaki siya compared to short term sources so the long sources naman have a longer time to mature it gives the company more time to accumulate cash to pay to pay off the obligation in the future. So yan naman yung good thing when it comes, we get, uh, we get the long-term sources because we have a lot of time to prepare uh, a money to pay for that uh, liability that we have to the other entity. So we have the dividend policy. So recall the cash dividends are paid by the corporations to existing shareholders based on their shareholdings in a company as return on their investment. So dito class, we need to make sure that we have a good policy when it comes to dividends. So how much, uh, how much, uh, how much dividends need to take by the shareholder? So nakadepende po siya kung ilan yung ibinagay na investment ni shareholder sa isang company. So some investors buy stocks because of the because of the dividends they they expect. To receive from the company. So some declaration of dividend may disappoint these investors. Hence, it is the role of manager to determine when the company should declare a cash uh, dividend. So yan din po isa sa mga trabaho ng isang uh, financial manager or VP for finance. So before a company may be able to declare a cash dividend, two conditions must exist. The first, the first one is the company must have enough retained earnings or accumulated profit to support cash dividends declaration. Ibig sabihin class, um, your company or the business must have a good profit, okay? Madaming profit siyang nakukuha so that we can support the cash dividend um, declaration. The second one is the company must have cash. Ibig sabihin, madami pong cash ang isang kumpanya para maibigay natin yung dividend sa mga shareholders. Next is for the companies which have limited access to the capital and have a target um, capital structure, they may end up with a residual uh, dividend policy. This means that when the companies are faced with 
investment opportunity, internally generated funds will be used first to the finance this investment and dividends can only be declared if there are excess uh, fund. So these are the um, some words that used in financial management or financial management class, okay? Or uh, finance, or finance, a uh, business finance class, okay? I'm sorry. So first we have the financial market. When we say financial market, it is an organized forum in which the suppliers and users of a various type of plan can make a transaction directly. Okay, so dito class, uh, it is a forum where the supplier and the user can uh, make a contact to each other if they can have or they can get a fund from them. Okay, next is the financial institution. Okay, maybe some of you are already heard the word financial institution. So these are the intermediaries that channel saving of individual businesses and government into loans or investments. So class, financial institutions are the one who uh, make, uh, make loans to the individual or businesses. Okay, sila yung uh, pinaglulonan ng mga individual and businesses if ever need nila ng FUD sa kanilang negosyo or para sa pansarili nila. And that is financial institution. They give money uh, to the individual business and government. So next, we have the private uh, placements. So the sale of new security directly to an investor or a group of investors. So ito po yung pag-sale natin ng um, stock or ng security directly to the investor or to the group of investors. So next, we have the public offering, okay? So the sale of either bags or stock to the general public. So dito class, some companies, they make an announcement to the public or to the general public to have a sale or to, pay, uh, to, to sell their bonds or stock, okay? They make a public announcement. Next, we have the financial instruments. So these are uh, a real or uh, virtual uh, documents representing a legal ad agreement involving some sort of monetary uh, value. Okay, so tandaan, it is a real or a virtual representation of a legal agri uh, agreement when it comes to a monetary uh, value. So now we proceed to financial system, okay? So ano yung mga, what is financial sta a statement first or financial instrument first? When a financial instrument is, used, uh, is issued, it gives rise to financial assets on one hand and a financial liability or equity instrument on the other. So as you can see, these are the financial uh, system. Uh, we have the financial institution. We also have the, the demanders of fund the financial markets, the supply of funds, and of course, the private uh, placement, okay? So first, let's define what is financial asset, okay? So these are the examples of financial assets. We have the cash, okay? When we say cash, this, these are the cash in hand and cash in bank. Ito yung pera na sa, uh, controlled or owned by the company or the business. We have also the equity instrument of another entity and a contractual right to receive cash uh, to an, or another financial asset from another entity. So dito class, we can receive a, a, an asset from other entity or from other company. Next is the contractual right to exchange instrument with another entity under the condition that are potentially favorable. So dito Dito naman, you can change or you can have an exchange instrument from other entity. Okay, it depends to the uh, to the companies if they want to have an exchange uh, exchange instrument. So na depende po yun. Next is we have an example. We have the notes receivable, the loans uh, receivable, the investment in stock. We also have the investment in bonds. Now we proceed to financial liability. So is any liab liability that is contractual uh, obligation? First is to deliver cash or another financial instrument to another entity. Okay, so as a liability, 
So we need to deliver cash from another entity if ever na may liability tayo sa kanila. Next, we have to exchange financial instrument with another entity under the condition that are potentially unfavorable. So dito class, tandaan na unfavorable siya. So we need to make an exchange of financial instrument to another entity which is so part not it is unfavorable. Example nito, we have the notes payable, the loans payable, and bonds payable. So um, class, we will end uh, the lesson here. And after that, we will proceed to another topic and also a continuation of the lesson one, which is the introduction to financial management. So if you have any questions, clarifications, suggestions, you can PM me. Uh, through Messenger or Gmail. Okay, so thank you for listening and watching this recorded video discussion. God bless everyone.